Welcome to Sushi Cat The Honeymoon. Also out now is Sushi Cat for the iPod Touch and iPhone and etc. That is the game I played before, it's not this game. So I guess I was wrong. I initially thought that Sushi Cat 2 is the one on iPhone, but it's just the one with ads. Which I recommend getting the game if you do have the iPhone. I would have gotten it already if it was available on my Android phone. So this is more Sushi Cat, let's delete our save. New game. Happy Sun! Hello, Mr. Happy Sun. Aww. He married the uh, plushie. No, oh, no! Everything's exploding. The cats are running around like freaking badgers. Oh, no! Dun, dun, dun. Sushi Cat's not gonna let that happen. He's gonna save us by plugging the smokestack. I'm not really sure why that would help at all. But he's gonna do it. And he's going to eat a bunch of stuff in order to prove his love for the doll. But I don't, I don't know. Actually, I think I played this game first. This seems more familiar. Tongue roll. Om nom 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 nom. If you get that, you get to aim, and you should really aim as far away as you can. I don't think I did that very well. See. There we go. That's what you want to do. That's a freaking combo. And that is a fat little kitty. Look at this place. Happy sun, happy clouds. We could possibly endanger. Look at all of this happiness. Either this is the safest place in the world, or my LSD has not worn off yet. And I'm pretty sure it's the former. Pretty sure, anyway. 49% sure, at least. At least. Heavy cat. Bonus sushi. Let's not avoid our bonus sushi. It is delicious. Okay, let's fail at getting bonus sushi. That's also acceptable. It's just a bonus. We got one of them. The one out of three isn't that bad, maybe? What is that kind of sushi that's made out of, like, salmon eggs or whatever? It does not look... tasty. Then again, I guess maybe it's not that much weirder than, uh, chicken eggs, so, whatever. Let's om nom nom some stuffs. Only two. Lame. That stuff looks kinda like it hurts, Sushi Cat. You okay there, buddy? I guess he's okay. He's mad out of pure fat. He cannot understand pain. He only understands good, tasty noms and love for a purple plushy thing. And really, don't we all love purple plushy things? Okay, maybe we don't, but whatever. Happy Cat, or Sushi Cat does. And that's all that matters, because this is Sushi Cat Town. We can't stop here, this is Sushi Cat Country. And look at these happy, um, circle... tables? I don't know what these are meant to be, but... It is... It is kawaii. That is what it is. Oh wow, I got smirched out of the... screen there. And I'm kinda stuck. Look at that cat jiggle. That is ridiculous. Fat cat. Hooray. Try to get this combo going here. Gonna get that tongue roll, buddy. Is that an actual tongue on the tongue roll? That's... It's actually fairly gross. Nom 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 nom. That is one fat kitty. You can barely fit through the things. Oh, that is a nice feature. Look at that. If he's too big, he just deflates and just slides through. It's not particularly natural, but, you know, it's what gets the job done. That's what you have to do. That's a really good way of dealing with that problem, actually. I'm pretty sure the first game did not do that. It was at least probably a fix made into the second game. 
But that is a very good way of avoiding problems. It's employing heuristics. That is your word for the day. It's avoiding problems and ensuring the system or the game has the resources to deal with problems like that on its own without input from the user. So if you require users to deal with errors, they're going to screw up or they're going to quit. Which I've done in both. I've done both in my let's plays already. I have either screwed up or quit because of games that either had major problems or I just didn't like or whatever. That's enough usability rambling for one minute. Happy whale, happy octopus. I don't think octopi have mouth like mouths like that. I think they have like a beak thing under their little tentacleness. I have no idea what you would call it. Nom nom nom. Oh, he looks so sad. He's like, I'm not fat. Please make me fat. I'm a kitter. Then he's all like, oh no, is I being squished? I also like that you drop him from, um... What are those called? I cannot think of what those things are called, but I know exactly what they are. The food stick things. I'm thoroughly embarrassed and cannot think of what those are called. Chopsticks! That's what they are. That's a cute touch that you drop him via chopstick. Come here, salmon eggs. Oh. That was lame. Oh no, we lost! I didn't realize we were going to lose that. That's better. Let's just eat a whole bunch of stuff. Also, if you notice, you have a bigger collection radius as you get fatter, so it's in your best interest to get as fat as possible in the first run, or the first couple of runs, anytime you can. Because being fat as close to the top as you can gives you more likelihood of gathering stuff at the bottom. See, I was trying to be conservative and save up the tongue roll thing, and I didn't even get to use it. Oh no! Now I have hiccups. Let's try for this mess. Oh, let's fail. Let's fail epically. Let's probably lose this freaking game again. That's fantastic. Final cat! Oh no. Come on, eat all of the- no, no, no. Good sushi cat, no. No, bad sushi cat. Okay, he's not going over there. He's not going anywhere. He's freaking perpetual motion, kitty. Nah, he's gonna fall through this next round. There you go. Unfortunately, we lost. So that fails epically. Or rather, I fail epically. And Sushi Cat is stuck. My mouse just went out of control briefly. Actually, it's not a mouse. It is a touch point. Pointing system, which is... Very interesting way, shall we say. And I'm freaking stuck. Let's just restart. Because I actually... That was, may, that was way more straightforward than I thought it would be. Let's... Let's try this. Let's try and get these. There you go. I do have a meeting and... Fairly briefly, so I'll... End after this set of levels. I think, I think it's one every five levels is a different world, basically. Different set of levels. Into the big bucket. There you go, buddy. Excellent. It's almost exactly what I wanted. Oh no, that is not at all what I wanted. I'm stupid. You should drop this way. Because the things will keep you up in the air longer this way. You'll have more of a chance to get sushi. But I won, so whatever. Haha. <laughs> you lose. Um. Not Sushi Cat. Sushi Cat 1, Sushi 0. This game doesn't really have an antagonist. 
Well, I guess the explodey, the risk of explosion is the antagonist. Yay! Sushi Cat's going on a honeymoon with his plushy doll. Oh no! The sea is um, murdering me. He's all angry at the sea. Oh. He's all embarrassed by that giant cat. So what will he do to make himself feel better? He will get fat! That solves all of your problems, kids. Not that horrible note. Oh hey, it's only four levels. Anyway, we'll end this video here. Next time we will go to this village and get fat, obviously.